Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game for Scratch and today we are talking about hacks. More specifically, we are talking about hacks 4.0.0 Release Candidate 3, which is a bit of a mouthful and doesn't really sound all that special, but it kind of is, especially if you work in a certain programming language. So before we get into the details of what is new in hacks 4.0.0 RC3, let's give you a bit of a very high level definition of what hacks is all about. Now hacks is a programming language that was heavily inspired by Flash or ActionScript and it actually enables you to target multiple different programming languages. Now, since the time of being inspired by ActionScript, it has gone on and grown and evolved into its own language, but it enables you to write code in hacks and target multiple different um, alt uh, outputs transpiling. So what you can do is target the .NET runtime. You can have it generate C sharp code. You can have it generate C++ code. You can have it generate HTML code that run and JavaScript that runs in your browser. You can have it generate flash code, for example. So it is a very portable language. And the cool thing is, for example, because you're generating C++ code, you can then compile on that platform with the native tool chain to get the performance out of it. So that is ultimately the kind of the high level view of what hacks language is about. Now we're on to the hacks 4.0.0 release candidate three details. And the biggest thing here is one more new language is added. And that is the new Java virtual machine target is now available. You can generate JVM bytecode directly from hacks bypassing Java compilation steps by adding dash D JVM to your project targeting Java. On top of that, there are other improvements in this release, such as Unicode support was greatly improved across all targets other than that we fixed a lot of bugs and improved the quality of IDE services, compilation and completion servers. So the tools working with hacks should be able to get better as a result of those language features improvements. Also, we are considering different options about inline markup. The feature is subject to change and there is a hyperlink if you want to participate in that. Speaking of which, I will link to a document linking to this and to that and so on. And then we get into the full blown uh, change log details there. So um, the change log on here one, we'll just do the top level stuff. So as you can see, obviously they added the JVM as a target. That is by far and away the biggest thing of this particular release. And then we've got a bunch of general improvements across the board. Create temp vars and pattern matcher to avoid duplicates. Um, support parsing dots in conditional compilation added the bypass accessor attribute, improved various aspects of the display API, uh, properly error on that line of code, all, at, made, I like this one actually, made at using actually work, uh, properly uh, disallowed some modifier combinations related to final uh, support, uh, at pure false on variable fields, updated flash externs to version 32, reworked support for native flash properties, improved performance of various parser implementations uh, for PHP, support .NET core target for C sharp and generate native type parameter constraints, again, for C sharp. And then you see here, we've got a number of languages, um, improvements, sorry, to the standard runtime library. So all these things were added for various different languages and features. And then of course, all is for every um, language target out of the hacks programming language. So that is kind of the top level view of it. Now, one thing they may be wondering is, hey, okay, if you can now target the JVM, does that mean you can now make bytecode that runs on Android? And the answer is, Yes, I actually found this GitHub uh, repository. I will link it elsewhere as well, but you'll see this is using um, the Gen JVM for hacks to test an Android app using Gen JVM target of hacks. So this is an Android app written last month, very simple, but um, shows you how to go about building uh, and an Android uh, APK using JVM using this new uh, uh, language target for the hacks program language. So that's actually pretty cool. So if you are a Java developer, but you don't want to, sorry, if you are a, an Android developer, but you do not necessarily want to work in Java, but you're sticking to like that, that side of the code, you can do that now. And this is a project with step-by-step -step instructions showing you how to build the APK file and the, the full steps for how to go about running it, the system requirements and so on. So if you're interested in the Java side of things, this is probably the place to get started. There's not a lot of documentation otherwise. And finally, if you are here, you're probably interested in game development. If you're wondering what languages or what game engines use the hacks programming language, well, I actually did a breakdown of various different programming languages and the engines or, or frameworks available for them. And I will link this down below as well. But if you're looking for a game engine or framework for the hacks programming language, there are a number of them out there, including NME, um, Lime, then there's Ka and OpenFL kind of at that mid-level abstraction layer, higher level 2D game engines. You've got Hacks Flixel, Hacks Punk, and then Stencil is built and uses the hacks programming language language um, as its scripting option, including a visual scripting language as well. And then at the high level or 3D level, we've got Away3D Heaps, which was used to make 
Oh, I don't remember the name of it, but it's one of my favorite games of this generation for the Switch. Uh, it'll come to me later, but it, it, it made a very recently commercially successful game with heaps. And then on top of that, we've got Armory 3D. That's the uh, game engine that is built that runs inside of Blender itself. It uses hacks as its programming language, and it is actually built on top of Ka as well. So if you're interested in looking for a game engine or framework to work with the hacks programming language, do be sure to check this out, and I will link this as well but that is it that is the new release of hacks 4.0.0 rc3 um, as you can see it's available in installer form for windows 32 and 64 bit os x uh, various different linux versions and of course you could build it from code if you are a glutton for punishment uh, let me know what you think. Are you using the Hacks programming language at all? Have you been interested in the JVM as a target? And there's a lot of languages out there that actually target the JVM, not just Java, but you've also got things like uh, Kotlin and Groovy and so on that can all compile down to the JVM as well. So between the .NET runtime and the JVM, there are an absolute ton of languages that can target those two um, separate runtimes and then run across platforms. So that's definitely an interesting development. But if you're a Hacks user, let me know what you think of this release down below. If you're not a Hacks user, have any interest in checking it out? Also let me know that. Comments down below. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.